Welcome back to the show, everybody. My pleasure right now to bring, bring into the Harman Studios here and introduce you to John Compton. He is the Chief Executive Officer of it &E. John, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet Half you too, Jason. Thank uh, you. Half a day. All right. So really good to meet you. Um, you know, you've been at your current assignment um, for a while now and everything like that. Got, got this kind is of my 115th there. day, so I'm a veteran now. But who's counting? <laughs> but who's counting? Well, right. as a, you know, if, if you've eaten in, in one of our fine fiestas and everything like that, then you are technically one. I have, one and meeting. enjoyed it very much. I, right. I love it here. It's great. Right. Okay, and the reason why we're talking here today is because ITNE services um, Guam and the scene of my, my former employer, many good years I spent Correct. there. Correct. Um, and you've actually re-engineered the network, and the reason why I brought that up is because, you know, like the network that we started to lay out, things inevitably change in telecommunications. So, you know, yeah. talk to us about, you know, how the evolution and what does this new network bring for not only us here on Guam, but our friends up in the CNMI. Okay, be glad to. Uh, first of all, I want to emphasize that this is a completely brand new network from the ground up. This is not a tweak or an upgrade or a new software load or something that we just got the screwdrivers out and made just a little bit better. This major is overhaul. Major overhaul, brand new network from the ground up. Now it's on the same towers that we have our other networks on, so the coverage is going to be the same, but this is a completely new technology. Um, the biggest advantages I think our customers are going to notice is, number one, the data speeds are much, much higher. They're much higher than anybody's ever seen here on any of these islands. Uh, the voice is crystal clear. Uh, roaming is going to work a whole lot better. Uh, it's more automatic now. I mean, you've always been able to roam going in and out. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you had to go through some manual steps, and that wasn't comfortable for everybody. So now it's much more automatic. Um, and we've also got a much wider range of devices available. Um, and the rate plans have been adjusted to pack as much value as we can into each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. now, with the advent of you know not only social networks but high-end multimedia services you know like you've got your hulus your pandoras mm -hmm. your netflixes would probably be like mm -hmm. the major candidates um, a lot of people out here have wised up to the fact that it's not just the stated on paper um bandwidth level like you right. know I, I can say i can get 50 megabytes you know from you guys right. um in terms of data speed and everything but in terms of throughput uh, what are you looking at because that's ultimately what's going to determine you know like well, metal, metal I, reads, meets I can road. bore you with the numbers, but let me put it in a way that you and the customers will understand. I have been watching Netflix for over a month on this new network, and I have yet to buffer, pause, anything. Outstanding. It, it, on my phone, on my iPad, on my laptop, it works wonderfully well mm -hmm. all the time, very consistently. Okay. Now, for the geek crowd out there, and there are yeah. many of us, you know, here, I proudly, you know, speak for my brothers and sisters, you know, like, I, I proxy, I'm representing, you know, sure. the geeks out here. Um, what you mentioned, like, certain types of technology are at play now and everything like that. Or we're looking at uh, 4G Correct. technologies, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, we've actually implemented two different technologies at the same time. We've got LTE, mm -hmm. which is designed to carry ho the high-speed data, and we've implemented a technology called HSPA, mm -hmm. High Speed Packet Excess, if anybody cares. Uh, and that's <laughs> and many do. <laughs> and that's primarily designed to carry the voice traffic, but it also carries the overflow data traffic. So those two technologies together is what's giving us all of these benefits. Um, and by the way, we also have, when we get technical, we have more spectrum than our competitors do. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bigger pipe to serve all of our customers from. And I think that's that's poignant because a lot of people can say, okay, well, like it sounds really good. Here we are talking at, you know, like a 6.30 at night and everything like that. Let me see how the network performs uh, when we're going from 7 in the evening until midnight when everybody's on Netflix. You've got a whole right. bunch of people who are gaming. You've got people who are, you know, doing uh, live video chats, multi-user yep. video chats back and forth and everything like that. How robust and how redundant is the network and everything for high peak loads like that? We have designed the network for exactly that situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we took a while to get this done. I mean, we've been working on this for quite a while now, but we, we tested it, tweaked it, engineered it so that it was designed to carry those heavy traffic loads. I mean, those social media outlets that you're talking about, Netflix, Hulu, et cetera, are becoming a larger and larger component of our nighttime traffic. So we designed the network to carry this. Um, and I don't expect anybody to take my word for it. Come down to the store, Try one of the demonstration phones that we have there for just this purpose and let them see for themselves that it really works. They can take the speed test and they can Sure, actually, yeah, yeah, right there in the store. Get the hard numbers. Yep, and if they have a compatible phone already, um, we've given our sales agents SIM cards 
they can put our SIM card in their phone and test it for themselves on their own phone. Okay, we got about a minute left, but if, um, as a customer of ITNE, what do I have to do to avail of these new speeds? Or if, if anything, is there a You're piece of paper I got to sign? Or Well, sure. I, if you have a compatible phone, all you need is a SIM card and a new contract. If you don't have a compatible phone, we'll be happy to sell you one. And we have a wide variety of phones, and we went out of our way to get an expensive phone, medium grade phones, and the high end smartphones that everybody likes. Mm -hmm. So we have something in everybody's price range. All right. Well, John, thank you so much. Thank you, Jason. It was a pleasure. All right. As a testament to how fast ITE's new network is and everything, we are going to actually get out of this interview exactly on time. So, you know. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> speed, speed being the operative word here. That's for us. Thanks, All right. Jason. All right. Well, stay tuned. We are back with more extra right after this.